All right, so growing up, I always had those fundamental questions, where we come from, why, where, where, I always ask why. And no one can really truly answer it for me in the way I wanted to hear the answers. So I decided to, you know, study something that would fulfill that. Just trying to figure out, is this life for me or should I just get out? What can I do? Where can I go? Okami Tsunami is basically me. Okami derives from my original name, which is Lowell. It's French. So I just looked it up and it means wolf. So I love the Japanese culture, so I thought of what does wolf mean in Japanese, okami. So I just put that together. Tsunami is basically a displacement in water, and I feel like we are all beings in water that we can't see right now, and the disruption causes tsunamis. And I feel like in the game today, it's a disruption, so I'm here. All right, so growing up, I listened to nothing but R&B. My mom's played nothing but Mary J. Blige in the crib. She played Case, Dave Hollister, Music Soul Child. So Growing up with that type of music growing up, I, I just fell in love with R&B because you can tell a story, it's a feeling. Every line means something and you can convey a different type of message. So depending on what type of music was played, I knew what type of day it was going to be. Uh, there was a time where as soon as I got out of high school, I went to college and funds wasn't you know, coming in the way they were supposed to, so I had to make a choice. And I, always wanted, I was going to school originally for physical therapy, so I was like, let me just go in the military and do the same thing. Going to the military it shaped my music in a way where it made it more impactful. Like my, my, my voice is more commanding because I, the experiences I had to go through yelling every single day. So it changed my voice into becoming more of a powerful being as, for, as a force as opposed to me just saying something and not meaning it, you know? And going to the military just shaped my discipline. It made me more focused and more aware to what's actually going on. Honestly, I didn't know <laughs> what I was going to get myself into because I went in the military open contract. So what that means is basically they place you anywhere they fit, they feel you need to go. There are four basic uh, positions on the tank. You have your driver, loader, gunner, and tank commander. I listed them lowest ranking to highest ranking. So my first job, as soon as I got in the fleet, they said I was a gunner. So I was already the third, the second in command of the tank. So with that job, you know how to accurately fire the tank, you know how to accurately disarm it, you know how to accurately aim, you know how to do everything you need to do to utilize that weapon to its fullest capabilities. And I was doing that. So the feeling that I had, it felt like a video game at first because I couldn't believe that it was real until I actually pulled the trigger and I heard that boom. That is definite. Even with something in your ear protect, even with ear protection, it is definite. 120 millimeters. 120. So you got your nine millimeters, a nine millimeter, 120. That's the size of a tank round. It's about 87 pounds, depending on which round you're shooting. 87 to about 95 pounds, you know, different variables. But that song was another song that I felt was easy because it was just things that I already knew and I had to apply it to everyday life and what I was actually going through. There's not really a religion that I gravitate towards. I just study everything. It's like a pot of gumbo. You have, you have to know where everyone's ideas and perspectives come from to understand yourself. Because that's how you can see yourself in the world. Because people view you off of what they believe at the end of the day. So I just wanted to get that understanding of people first. Because I was also a psychology minor. Through psychology, you understand how the brain works. Through religion, you understand how emotions work. So intertwining that is like a good key feel for me to understanding my condition is being a human in this world and also other people in a sense because you never really fully understand you can get an idea but enough ideas you can collect your own you know disposition about life the first three songs that I actually wrote were already prepared but the last two I had to make within a week after I heard the beats you know what I'm saying because I knew where I wanted to go but I just wanted to know I just wanted to figure out how I was going to attack it you know first my first favorite is radio check which is the I like that song because I feel like it's a real play on what I learned in the military and what I was actually going through, but it's more of a, a 2019 version of how I felt about it. Like, sit, all right, so there have been, there are down, there's a lot of downtime when you're deployed. I was deployed twice. The second deployment was when I was on the tank the most. So during that time, I had a lot of time for reflection out in the field. Anything could have happened, anything could have transpired, but there was really not much going on during certain times, you know? So during those times, I would just reflect, you know, ask myself fundamental questions, reflect on past, things that I used to do, you know, things of that nature. So 
putting it together was fit. Like a, again, it was just I'm just letting people know exactly what happened during those times I was out there. I felt like it was a fairly easy process to write because it's just my experiences. The easiest part to me was hearing the music. Once I heard the actual instrumentals, I already knew what to write and how I was gonna go about it and how I was gonna attack it. Because you feel you feel it. It's something that is uh, it's inherent in your system to like, once you hear you're right, you start humming something, you start feeling the rhythm. But for me, I start rapping. It, it was, so it was a fairly easy process. I feel like I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. When I said life is but a dream, there's a little insert before dream. It's a lucid dream. It means we're in control of it. No matter what's going on, we are in control of your own destiny, your own life, the way you shape it, is how you speak about it, how you carry yourself, how you walk around about it. It's always in the moment. So that feeling, I just attempt to hold on to that moment feeling and just run with it. Because that's what helps you shape and makes your next move and decides, you know, what can be your next move, that can be your last move or your ultimate move, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Method Man. Shout out to Method Man, because he's one of my favorites. Growing up, my mom's, that's the, another reason why I got into rap. My mom used to bring home a lot of CDs, and she used to say about, she used to talk about these people because she thought they were, you know, she thought they had, she thought they had it. Had talent, they looked good, they acted a certain way. So she, I would hear these names. So I'm like, who are these people? So I would just look them up. And then I heard cash rules everything around me. That's the truth. You gotta get the money, you gotta get it. Even though you necessarily don't want to because you know the evils that come with it, you know you, it's a necessary evil. So it's like bringing people back to that at the same time, letting them know like, we've been listening, we understand, and we, this is how we coming for it. This is how I'm coming for it. So you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta let them know that you know about the past in the moment. Cause some people may forget, you know? So my dude, my dude Matt She produced the entire EP. My boy from Hunter, phenomenal producer. He is a madman, like madman. He does everything. He's like the Wu-Tang and jazz combination that I grew up listening to. He embodies that in his production. The last song, the switch up. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause you gotta, I want, I want people to listen to it. Cause that's my favorite piece of the whole entire, that sums me up in a sense. Before the switch up on the last song, that, those couple lines. A couple lines. Ch chariot, right? Yes, on chariot. That, that is my disposition in life, right there. The children, everybody laughing and enjoying the moment, because we are always in the moment. 